everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie and this is Violet. She loves the unboxings just like I do and just like you do too. So she's going to hang out with us like normal. Um, but today she doesn't know it. There's a little something in the box for her that I kind of snuck in there. So we're going to see her reaction when she finds out that there's a treat for her. Anyway, so Today, I'm really excited. I wasn't supposed to get this until tomorrow, but it showed up my doorstep today, and I didn't even realize that um, the post office was going to deliver today on Labor Day, but they did. So I've um, been waiting, and I'm super excited about this. So we are doing Natalie Attire today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I did such tricks the other day, and that was a lot of fun. Um, so I'm really excited about doing Natalie Attire. So Natalie Attire is also an online clothing subscription styling service. Um, you do pay $20 for a styling fee per box. Um, and then you do a style profile just like the rest of them. Um, the only difference with this one is they actually want your measurements. So if you're going to do the Natalie Attire, make sure you do, you know, make sure you have a tape measure close by or you take your measurements prior to um, getting on there and filling out the style profile. So we'll see how good their uh, sizing is, especially since they did have all my measurements and uh, see if it uh, matches up with uh, some of the other ones that have done such a great job on my um, styling or my sizing. So, um, I'm trying to think, is there, I don't think there's anything else in the, oh, you get to view it for three days. Um, I believe with Natalie Attire, if you keep the whole box, you get a 20% discount. I believe it's 20% discount. Um, it should tell me in here. I hope it tells me in here. Um, so let's get started. I love these unboxings. They're so much fun. They are just so much fun. Okay. And this is what they look like. This is what it looks like in that pretty, oh, pretty flower. Violet, what's in here? I think somebody left something in here for you. What is that? Is that a tree? Oh, you got something. Yes, you did. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but she just uh, wanted her to feel included. She's my kid. She's my kid. Now she's going to cry because she, uh, she always cries when I give her those. I don't know why. It's like she wants to go hide it or something or even try to like bury it or something. But yeah, she's looking now, looking around like she's not ready for it yet, but she wants to She's kind of crying. Sorry. But anyway, I probably, maybe I shouldn't have gave her that right now. Oh my gosh, this is like really, a, is they're all bundled together? It looks like it's just like all bundled together. I'm trying to get the bundle out and it's not working real well. Okay. Ooh, a plaid. It looks pretty. looks pretty. Okay. It's just one bundle and there's a pretty flower. Natalie attired. All right, Natalie attired. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what you gave me. Sorry, I haven't had a lot of sleep, but I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of in a funny, funky mood. Okay. Ooh, I get this uh, card. I'm trying not to get the glare on there. It says, hi, Valerie. I hope you love your first collection. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Enjoy Renee. I think it's Renee, but it's handwritten. So, see, it's handwritten. That's kind of nice. That's a really nice touch. Um, on the back, it says, your stylist has selected this collection just for you. Please take a few minutes to try everything on. Something you may have passed by in the store might look just right. Within three days of receiving your collection, please sign into your account to check out. Use the enclosed paid postage paid envelope for returns. Just drop them in the U.S. mail. Your $20 styling fee will be applied to any piece of piece you purchase from this collection. Thank you for letting us style you with appreciation, the Natalie Attire team. That's really nice. That's nice. I like that part. So what else do we have in here? Okay, and we do have my mailer. So anything that I decide not to choose, I just put in here and then I take it back. Or I can throw up my uh, mailbox if it's not big, too big, or I can take it to the post office and drop it off there. Um, I've done it with several other ones, and it's actually pretty, pretty decent. Um, so, and then they give me a sales order and the prices and what was sent. 
Um, yes, you uh, you receive an additional 20% discount if you keep it all. You have three calendar days from the day you receive your Natalie attire. Okay. So, I thought I was getting in on the, D, the sale thing, though. Um, they were having a sale, and they said if I, do, if I ordered by a certain date, uh, ordered the box by a certain date, that I would still be able to get that. Um, it's not showing that on there, so that's something I'm going to check into. Because that was like, you keep three pieces, you get 20% off. Um, but if you keep five pieces, you got 30% off. And I'm not seeing this here on this um, anywhere. So I'm going to have to probably email them and ask them about that. Um, because when I ordered, it definitely stated that. So well, I'll check into that. So let's see what we've got here. Looks like we've got five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Uh, the first one is uh, by Skies Are Blue, which I think I have something by Skies Are Blue. I think uh, Mix and Matchbox sent me something from Skies Are Blue, and I think I really liked it. I can't remember. I can't remember which one it is. Anyway, this is a plaid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now this looks really interesting here. This looks really interesting. It is a plaid mixed print dress. So this is kind of interesting. I was, I was expecting a top. Now, it looks like it's navy, or maybe it's black. I don't know. I don't know. Navy or black. I can't, it's hard to tell sometimes in, this, in the lighting. Um, but, yeah, it's a navy. I don't know. It's a dark color. It's navy or black um, with red plaid. And this is really kind of interesting. And then it's got, like, a gingham check, black and white, or navy and white. It looks like black. Um, and it looks, I don't know, it's kind of different. It's got kind of like a, it's kind of wrapped there. That's really interesting. And then it's got a different plaid. It looks like there's a different plaid, like right underneath here. I don't, I don't understand what, okay, underneath that. That's really different. I mean, that's really, really kind of different. So like underneath, you got like this, this plaid, and then on top of it, you got this plaid, and then you got this little different gingham check thing. It's kind of hard to show you, but I'm sure you'll see it in the try-on. So that's, that's kind of different. I don't know if it's something I'm going to like, but excuse me, my nose is itching. Um, but it's different. I like that it's different. Long sleeve. Um, it looks like, you know, maybe to my knee, maybe above the knee, but that's interesting. I, and it's got buttons, and it's got like a collar. I normally don't like collared, a lot of collared shirts or dresses, but I'll try it and we'll see. But I'm kind of, I'm intrigued. This is kind of intriguing me. Can you step back for a minute, baby girl? There you go. I'm really kind of intrigued by that. That's, that's different. Okay, so we'll check that out and uh, see what's going on with that. Another plan. Okay, well, that's something I haven't gotten from any other boxes. I really don't think I've gotten any plaids. And I do like plaids. So this is really pretty. This is kind of a wine color um, plaid. This is also from Skies Are Blue. And it is a plaid embroidered shirt dress. Oh, another dress. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You know me, I've been wanting to find some dresses. And this is pretty. I like this plaid too. It's a smaller plaid. That, that is pretty. Um, I love that color. That color is just, I love the wine. That wine color is just so really pretty this time right now. It, it's really hot in my area. I don't know if it's hot in anybody else's area. If, if the wines and the burgundies are hot colors in your area, why don't you guys comment below and let me know um, where you're from and that it is hot right now. Um, because I don't know if it's different, you know, from different parts of the United States or different parts of the area or what. But I don't know, everywhere I go, it's like wine, 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 everywhere I go. Burgundy, burgundy wines, and it, I love the color. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. Are you ready for another one? Are you ready for, I think somebody left something else in here for you. I think they left something else in here for you. Let me see here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh you got another one. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, you've got a special treat. There you go. <laughs> I 
I love spoiling her. Okay, so anyway, this is another dress. It's got a little tie. Um, it's elastic. No, it's just draw, like a drawstring tie um, waist. And it's really cute. I like that. I like that. Oh, and the sleeves, it's got a button on it, so you can roll your sleeves up. And um, yeah, it's got the little, oh, well, maybe not. How would you roll it up and maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. But anyway, um, really, really cute. Kind of soft. This one's soft. The other one's not as soft. This one's softer. So this is pretty. Oh my goodness. She's running, trying to find a hiding spot for that one. So she ate the other one. This does have some embroidering detail right there. And that is pretty. It's not too much. I'm really not fond of a lot of embroidery, but I do like some. Um, so that is really pretty. It's got like the wine colored flowers. There's a little bit of like a mustard color. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's really kind of different. I've never really seen any embroidery on plaid before, but that's pretty. So this is, I'm, I'm excited to try this. Yip, yip, yay, something different, something different. Okay, I hope there's no more plaid. <laughs> I think we're platted out. Okay, let's see what this is here. Okay, where is it at? It doesn't really see who it's from by. There's two pieces here. Oh, this looks like maybe it's a kimono. This is by Chris and Carol. And it is, oh, uh, three-quarter sleeve floral cardigan. Isn't this beautiful? This is just really, really beautiful. I love, now that green in there is, it's a green green, but I don't mind it as much because it like, you know, blends in with the, the black. So that's kind of, that's really pretty. And look at the sleeve. Isn't that pretty? That is, it's kind of like I got, got like a bell sleeve. And I like the little stripes on that. Um, they said this is a cardigan, but I would, I think it looks more like a kimono myself. Now, see, it's just not so much green. That I could do. And this is down at the waist, so that's probably not going to bother me. At first I saw, I'm like, oh no, it's going to have a yoke. But um, nope, it doesn't. Um, I'm not sure. It's very sheer. Um, it's really pretty. Very different. Looks like it has the type of high-low that I like. Um, it kind of gradually, I think it's shorter in the front, and it kind of gradually goes around. It's got some more of this stripey detail there. This is beautiful, and it feels really nice. So, oh, this is some good stuff. This is some really good stuff. So well, I'll try that. So that's three pieces. Okay, and then we've got, this is by Chris and Carol. And this is a sleeveless top. So let's check this out. Not sure what color that is. It's kind of a brown taupey color, or um, but it's kind of flare. It's just a tank, and it's kind of flares like that flary top that I like. Does it have the? Uh, it doesn't have the pockets in it. I don't feel pockets. I don't feel like there's pockets. I have a a blue one like this that I got from uh, Nadine West. It has the pockets, and I love it. So this is probably going to be a really nice style for me. Um, see, it's kind of more flared in the bottom, and I do like that. I like where it's a little bit more fitted, and it kind of flares out. So this is cute. Um, I'm excited about that, too. Okay, one more piece, and it looks like we got a pair of pants. Let's see what we have here. They are by... Jag, they're Jag jeans. They are mid or high rise slim ankle. Um, they are in the fit here. They're Amelia's slim ankle pant. And they sent them in size 14. I haven't been looking at sizes. I guess I should have probably been looking at them. Um, these are really cute. Oh, oh, this is what everybody's been talking about. These are like the, the pull ons. So this is going to be really different because I've not tried the pull-ons at all. And so I'm going to really, I don't know. I don't know if I like that either. I've heard of them. I've seen a lot of unboxings with them. So yeah, those are really, those are cute. 
they're very soft. They're very soft. And this is what the back looks like on them. Okay, so that's my five pieces. So I'm anxious to try those on too. I already have bought a black pair of jeans, but I was just thinking I probably need to get another pair. Um, I'd like to have, you know, a pair for work. And then I'd also like to have a pair where I can just, you know, keep for nicer occasions or when I want to go out and look a little bit more nice. That way I won't uh, ruin the only pair of black jeans I have by wearing them to work. So I do need work pants and I do need, you know, just every day, I know, a little bit nicer dressier jeans too. So let me go do a try. Let me go get this stuff tried on and we'll get started on that portion. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. And this is the first outfit. Uh, I kind of figured I'd just pair all this together because I thought it would match. Because there is um, like a mocha. I thought I saw kind of a mocha color in there somewhere. I don't know. It looks mocha more my house but um this may not be exactly what i'd wear but i think this is kind of what they had in mind to pair they don't give you really anything to say that you know this is what to pair this with um i wish they did have some styling tips because i really enjoy those a lot um it gives you a lot of good ideas um and you can just i don't know it just gives you a lot of good ideas um so anyway this um I'm wearing the Chris and Carol uh, three-quarter sleeve floral cardigan, and they sent it in size large. And I'm also wearing underneath the Chris and Carol mocha sleeveless top in an extra large, and the Jag jeans Amelia Slim ankle pants in black, um, size 14. All right. Um, I like the cardigan. I think it's I think it's really pretty. Um, I feel like it's more like a kimono. I don't know why they sent it to me in a large. It's still it, when I do this, it's a little snug in my arm area. Um, and the tops they sent me well, this top they sent me an extra large. So I don't know why they sent this in large. Um, and the rest of them other I don't know. It fits me good everywhere else. It just it's a little snug right there. Um, when I move my arms or something, it just a little snug. Um, and I don't like that constricted feeling. Um, but I think it looks nice. It's, it's very pretty. Um, it's, it's actually really cute. Um, the green in it is okay. It doesn't, uh, bother me because it's not super all green. It has a mix in it. And I don't mind that with that color of green. Um, but like the other top I had, the other day that I was all green. I just, it's just too much green for me. But if there's things that's got green in it, I don't mind it. Um, I think this is very, very pretty kimono. I like the different detail here. Um, it's kind of got the bell sleeves a little bit. They're not too long. They actually fit me really well. Um, like I said, it fits me really good everywhere except for in the, my shoulder area, which I'm very large in that area. Um, so this would be, if I did keep this, I would see if I could size this up because it just, is just a little bit, uh, too snug in that area. So let me walk back and you can see the whole outfit. Um, give me your thoughts on this. I kind of like it. I think it looks actually really kind of cute. I really do kind of like it. It's different. I mean, this color is kind of different. This is not a color I would probably pick out. Um, I probably would not pick out the kimono or the cardigan um, myself if I saw it on a rack. Um, and I really wasn't wanting to try these type of jeans that are um, just pull-ons. So um, anyway, let me take the cardi off and uh, show you the rest by itself. Okay, and here's the tank. It's just a simple tank. Um, it's it's all right. The color's not like my favorite. Um, sorry, my bra strap. Um, the color's not like not my favorite, but I think it's a mixable um, tank that I could wear for like um, layering. I do like the style. I do like that little bit. It's a little bit flowier down in this area on me. 
And I do like that because I like to conceal my tummy as much as possible. It does skim my curves a little bit like I like. I like the way it hangs on me. It's a lot, the length's great for me. I'm just not quite sure about the color. Um, I'd have to play around with this with some other things in my closet to see if I would really want to uh, uh, get it. But uh, here's what the back looks like. It's just very simple. Um, there's nothing really, um, I don't see any really extra detailing in it. It's just a simple top. Fabric's really nice. It's really nice and soft and flowy. I do like that. Um, okay, the jeans. I am really su surprised. I wasn't sure I would really like these, but they make my tummy look so much thinner. I mean, so much skinnier. I don't feel like I have this huge pooch there. I mean, look how slim it makes me my tummy look. And it's amazing. And they're very soft. And I do really like the pull-ons. I'm surprised. And it has regular pockets in it, you know, which is nice. It's very soft. They're stretchy. Um, I think it's a really nice, nice pair of jeans. I can really feel the quality of them. They're wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I think they look nice. I haven't sat down in them, so that's going to be kind of a true test, too. Um, they're not skinny. They look more like they're, um, they're not like really straight legs either. I don't know what, they said they were ankle skinny, I thought. Let me see here. Slim ankle pant. So no, they're not skinnies. Um, but I'm okay with that. I don't want completely to have everything skinny. I like a looser cut, looser fit sometimes too. Um, this is really nice. These would be just amazing. And this is just amazing right here um, for me because I, you know, sometimes I get jeans and it just makes my tummy look even bigger. And uh, I like that the, the waistband because it, like it doesn't, you know, sometimes I have that roll there and it doesn't show that roll at all. I mean, I think you can even do this. You can see a little bit there with a more form fitting, but not bad, not bad at all. So these are very slimming pants. I really... I'm very impressed with these. These are the Jags. Yeah, it's by Jag Jeans. Awesome. Okay, let me go try on one of the dresses, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the first dress. This is by Skies Are Blue. It is in, it's a red plaid. Um, it's extra large. It is a plaid mixed print dress. Um, it's very, very different. Um, this kind of folds over. It's got like a flap that folds over. Oops, I got regular violets on me already um it's different i don't know if i like this or not um i don't know if it accentuates my stomach or if it helps diminish it um i think you know it gives me a definite waistline which is kind of cute which is really cute but it's just kind of i don't know this would be something i'd have to really get used to um it really is different um, and I do normally like a lot of different things. And I like the plaid. I mean, I really do like this plaid on me. Um, so let me back up a little bit. You can just get the full length. I kind of feel like I have a robe on, though, in a way, because of the way it's draped over. I just kind of feel like maybe it looks more like a robe rather than a dress. Um, you guys definitely, <laughs> I need help on this one. <laughs> definitely give me your opinions. Um, comment below with all your opinions, please, because I'm not sure. Um, I really am not sure. I like it in a way, but in a way I don't like it. So, and I'm just not quite sure what I don't like about it. I like this because it's different and I like the top part of it. It fits really nice. Normally I have problems with buttons. They like to gap open and this is a really good size. It's not gapping. Um, the sleeves are just a hair long, but nothing major. Um, I do like the different, I normally don't like the like, different patterns together, but this I kind of think I like. Um, but there's just something, I don't know, I don't feel, I feel like I can kind of maybe have an apron on or I don't know. So does this look like an apron or does it look like a robe or I don't know. It just, there's just something, I don't know. I like it, but I don't like it, if that makes any sense. So. Back up so you can see it back here. You know, I like the length. The length's not bad at all. Um, it's just really, really different. 
it fits nice. It, it's very comfortable. It's very, very comfortable. Um, maybe that's why I feel like I have a robe on it because it's so comfy. But, uh, and it just kind of wraps over, but, uh, and I didn't really even pay attention. Is it, is it like solid all the way? Yeah, it's solid all the way. Um, so I don't know, maybe this is something I have to play with. Um, they had it really a lot looser and I tightened it up a little bit. So I don't know, maybe I need to loosen it up. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But then it like it was like part of it was, you know, a different length. And I didn't like, really didn't care for that either. So let me kind of loosen it back up like they had it and show you, show you that. They had it more loose like this. Um, and then see the, the one side is longer than the other. Um, that's okay. I don't, I don't care for that type of hemline, but does that look better? Um, is that the way it's supposed to be? This thing just feels like I have an apron. I mean, I, I don't know. There's just something about this. I'm not sure I like, um, it's, it's different. That's for sure. And I normally like unique and different things, but I like it, but I don't, not quite sure I really do like it or does it look better, you know, more like this. I don't know. Maybe I just don't have it over far enough. I don't want to tighten a bow. I'll tighten the knot, I think. Um, no, it still looks the same. <laughs> okay, anyway, you really helped me with this one, guys, because... Please comment, 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 and be honest. I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. I like it. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. If it I mean, if it is, I don't know. It's just different. Really different. Okay, let me try on the next dress. Okay, this is the final piece from Natalie Attire. Um, this is by Skies of Blue. It is burgundy and white and extra large. It is a plaid embroidered shirt dress. Um... So, I don't know. It looks really, like, black, but it is actually is a very wine color in there. Um, and then it's got the embroidery here. You can see that embroidery. I'm not quite sure if I like that embroidery with the plaid or not. Um, it feels like it, you know, it feels comfortable. Um, I'm not sure about this one. I'm really not sure. I really had to tighten this up a lot. Um... Because if not, the, it didn't hit me right. It kind of was a little bit lower. And I kind of had to, like, raise it up and really tie it pretty. It's not, like, uncomfortably tight. I mean, I can move and bend and stuff. But it just, uh, I don't know, it didn't fit me quite. I don't know. And the plaids don't match up. You know, it used to be, they used to match up their stripes and plaids from um, front to back. And they don't do that anymore. And, I don't know, that kind of drives me nuts. <laughs> um, that kind of drives me nuts. Maybe I'm just old school. Anyway, so um, I kind of like, I do like the way the collar lays. It just kind of lays flat, which gives me more of an elongated neck, and I like that. Um, it is soft, very nice and soft and comfy, but I kind of feel like I have, I still kind of feel like I have a robe on. I don't know why, but I just kind of feel like it's pajamas or robe or, um, it, the, either dress could be very casual, um, is what that is what I'm looking for. The other dress, I think I could dress it up a little bit more. Um, this one, I'm not so sure, you know, what I would do to dress it up. Maybe a cardi, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, let me get you back here. So it looks like the length's good. It's a little bit below the knee. Looks like there's some strings coming out of there. Um, oh yeah, it's like really unraveling. So that, I don't know about. Okay, that I have to, I have to look at that a little bit later. But, um, so I need help on this one too, guys. Does it look like a robe? Um, does it look like a dress? Is it, what does it look like to you guys? Please comment, be specific on both dresses because I'm not really sure. And I'm thinking really, I'm thinking I kind of like the other dress better than I like this one. Um, to be honest, this is really, really different. Um, 
Both of them are very, very different. But I, I don't know. I just kind of feel like I, I don't know. This, I think this looks more country western. And I'm really not country western type person. But I'm not really, I don't know. It's just, which is nothing wrong with that, okay? It's nothing wrong with it. That's just not my style. And, uh. It's just not my style. I do love the plaid. I think the plaid's very, very pretty. I just don't know if I like the style of this dress, um, to be honest. <clears throat> I'm trying to get a good look, but as I go back, I can't see really well. But I'll watch the video back and, and see. But it's very soft, and I think it does, hangs well on me. I think it, it is, it is, it's pretty. It is kind of pretty. Um, okay, these are kind of hot, and it's been really hot outside. I took Violet out a little bit ago, and I just cannot believe the heat, the humidity here in Indiana has gotten horrible. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, we were having, like, fall weather, and now we're at, like, August weather, and I do not like this humidity. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, let me go get something cooler on, and then we'll go over the pricing. Okay, I'm back. Um. Violet's pooped out. She's laying here sleeping. So um, I'm going to wrap this up real quick with pricing. And I'll go back over what I got. Um, let's go back over with the... I guess it's right here. Yeah, this is the Chris and Carol black and green three-quarter sleeve floral cardigan. And it's very pretty. Um, very sheer and it's pretty, you know, I, I don't think it's not pretty. It is, ver it is pretty, but I'm not sure I really liked it that well. Um, I would have to play this round with this and I'm not sure I have really much in my wardrobe to go with it. Um, I did like the style. It just felt really snug in the shoulder area, but yet it fit good everywhere else. So if I did size up, um, I'm afraid it might be way too big everywhere else and to get it to fit in the shoulder area. Um, it's just really darling though. Very, very cute. Um, so this I'm not real certain about. Um, it is $42. So, you know, for $42, I don't know. I really, really don't know. And it, it's not something that like, I love the pattern and it's pretty. I like it, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I love it, you know? It's not that. So anyway, I'm going to think about that. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really sure about that. Okay, the next one is also by Kristen Carroll, and it was a mocha extra large sleeveless top. Um, this is cute. I did like, I did like the um, style of it. I like the fit of it. It was very comfy. Um, I thought it did look really nice with this, um, and I liked it with the, the jeans as well. Um, and it, I like the fabric. It's very, I love that fabric. And these are kind of hard to find, this type of flowy ones at the bottom. Um, and I'm not sure, did I tell you? It's $34. Um, so I did like this. I'm just not quite sure about the color. Um, I'm going to have to try it with some other things in my wardrobe and see if it will, if I have other things that will blend in with it. Um, or mix and match with it by itself. I don't think it looks all that the color doesn't look all that great with my coloring. It looks okay, but it's not like, oh wow, that's a good color on you. Um, so it's a good neutral. Um, I'll give it that. It's a good neutral, and maybe just with the right, you know, something over it, or um, it might look a whole lot different. It may look a whole lot nicer. I mean, I don't know. So um, I'm gonna check. The, I'm gonna just check and play with that a little bit. So this, I'm just not certain. I'm not. I'm not certain yet. Uh, it seems to wrinkle pretty bad too. And I guess let me look at the care instructions. You think I'd learn by now? I need to really look at these care instructions. Um, it's 95% rayon and 5% percent spandex, um, hand wash, dry flat, iron low. So um, it is machine washable. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't say that, but I, I've been washing my hand washes in my delicate cycle in a lingerie bag, in a washable lingerie bag, and I've not been having any issues. And then I've just been either laying them flat or hanging them up to dry. And they've been doing really well doing that. 
So, um, and I had a stylist tell me you could do that. So, anyway, so this is, I mean, I do like it, but I, I don't know. And it's, it's, it's mocha, but I don't know. It's, is it, I don't know. I'll have to check it out. This may look good with that cardigan. I don't know if I could get by with this with the cardigan from um, Stitch Fix. It may work. It may not. Okay? Depends if it, how much um, gray is in this. So, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the one thing I absolutely did love, I really love these jeans. I was really surprised. I didn't think I'd like the pull-on jean, but I really did like them. They are so comfortable, and I love the... I love how it didn't leave, like, a, I mean, it just kind of flattened my stomach. And I wanted to read this to you, too, guys. Um, I got to reading this when I was taking them off. It's a fit revolution. Our pull-on waist pants smooths your waist and flaunts your curves with no zippers or buttons. The comfortable waistband stays in place while keeping your tummy flat and smooth under any shirt. Go ahead. You can even try on a size smaller. Our fabrics are that forgiving. Jag is designed by women and tested by women. We only give you what we love ourselves. Here, problem solved. Jagjeans.com. So I really, I'm impressed with this. I'm really impressed with these. I've never heard of them. My shirt is shedding my little, my little beads here. It's a very old shirt. It's probably time to get rid of that. Um, that's what I mean. My, flow, my clothes I've had for a long time, and they're starting to kind of, like, fall apart. So I really need to get some new clothes. So anyway, um, so, and I feel guilty every time I buy clothes. I don't know why, but I just really feel guilty. And I shouldn't because I haven't spent hardly any money in the last probably, I'm going to say four years. I know it's been at least three years that I really went majorly shopping for clothes. And everything's just, you know, I've lost weight. I lost 30 pounds now. And... Everything's either falling off of me or looks way too big or everything's getting very old and starting to fall apart. So I really do need to invest in new clothes. And, and I have purchased quite a few lately. Um, but I'm going to continue to purchase some more. Even if I make me feel guilty, I'm going to do it. So anyway, um, I really like these. They're a nice stretch. I, they have pockets, like regular pockets, like regular jeans. There's no zipper in them. Um, these has a nice back pocket. Um, if I kept these, I would maybe want to size down to 12. I'm finding that the 12s fit me better, like with cut from the cloth, the 12s did fit me a lot better, um, especially in the waist. Um, and there was room throughout the jean, and it wasn't like it was really tight throughout um, so that it would be super tight on me. I think there was plenty of room that I could size down. Um, I don't mind that they're not like skinnies. That's okay with me because I don't always want to wear skinny jeans. Sometimes I like a little bit bigger, you know, cut, a little bit bigger. I don't sure what, I mean, I'm not sure if this is, it's not like a flare. And I don't think it's a boot cut, but I don't think it's a straight leg either. So I'm not quite sure what that is. But anyway, I do like them. Um, and I was thinking about getting another pair of black pants anyway. They're super soft too. Just absolutely super soft. Um, and I like that they're high raised. I like the higher rise um, because they just seem to, um, I don't know, these, and these were amazing. Like, did you guys see my, my tummy? It was like almost flat. That was amazing. Because, you know, I the Stitch Fix pants, I got to look at on the video, and my stomach was like, boom, bulging out big time with those jeans. Um, and those were uh, Liverpool jeans. I liked them. I think the book would look great with a longer shirt. But these, I could actually maybe even wear shorter shirts. Because I thought my tummy looked amazing. But I'll have to look at the video because, you know, I have to look and see. Because maybe I'll look back and think, oh, what was I thinking? No way. But who knows? So, I'm chatting too much. I'm sorry. Um, okay, now we're getting to the dress. Oh, these were, I'm sorry. Uh, these were $74. So, these are actually cheaper than the Liverpool jeans were. The, I think those were $88. Um this, I love these, actually. Okay, the next piece, I'm covering up my sheet here. Um, this was from Skies Are Blue, and it was a plaid embroidered shirt dress in burgundy and white in extra large. Um, 
when I first saw it, I really, I love this plaid. I do love the plaid. I think it's very, very pretty. It's really nice and soft. I love the fabric. Um, it's really nice. It's just a lot of, just a lot of stitching coming out. There's stitching here. There's stitching on the hem coming out. Um, yeah, that kind of worries me. And the embroider is pretty, but I just don't think it's, I like it with the plaid. It would be prettier if this was just a solid color and then they have just the embroidery there. I think it's just, it's just too busy for me. Um, I did love the collar. The collar and the neckline was really wonderful. The collar, even though it had like a lapel on it, it laid flat and then it went down to nice V. I love that about it. Um, did see something else when I was uh, checking it out in the mirror when I was going to change. Yoke. Can we say yoke? Yeah. Don't like the yoke. So I saw that, oh, it's got a yoke. And I didn't even realize it. So I really don't think this is it for me. I just don't think it fit well. I just don't like, didn't like the, um, the style of it. The drawstring concept. Um, it was okay, but it wasn't, it just didn't do much for my figure. So this one I think is going to be a big fat no, because I just, it just wasn't me. It really, the style was not me. It had it been this fabric in a different, in a, a different style, I probably would. Oh yeah, that's pretty. But, um, and that was $59 for that one. Okay. The last piece, and guess what? They didn't send me any jewelry. I just realized that no jewelry. Yay. Um, okay, this last piece is by, from Skies Are Blue, and I do like Skies Are Blue. I've got, I think I've got one shirt I got from, I think it was from Mix and Matchbox that was, that, yes, I do. <coughs> yes, I do. It was that, um, V-neck top with kind of the bell, not real bell sleeves, but it's real silky, and it had a big, a lot of print in it, and it had a pretty blue border, bluish border on it. Yeah, that was from Skies Are Blue. I knew I had a piece from them, but I do like Skies Are Blue. They are and really nice clothes. Um, this is a plaid embroidered shirt dress in, oh wait, I just did that one. This is a plaid mixed print dress, and it is also $59, and it is also by Skies Are Blue, and it is in red, and it's extra large. <clears throat> this one was very interesting. And out of the two dresses, I think I really like this one the best. Um, here, I got it all tore apart here. I think I really did like this one the best um, as far as the style. Even though it's kind of a weird style, um, I did like it. The fabric is nice. I didn't see any stitching coming undone or anything. But the fabric feels really nice. I think the color is much more suited for me. Um, I just, I really like that red and I think it's black. I wish it would give me a little bit more description, but it didn't. But I think it's black, but I really did like, oh, it looks like it's got some blue in there. This is kind of different. It's got like, like black on the outside and then like a lighter in the inside. It looks like, like a lighter square. I don't know. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me, but I don't know. You probably won't be able to see that on camera. That's why I'm having a hard time deciding what color it is, but anyway. And it does have some, like, a green stripe in it. Um, but I did kind of like this. This was kind of different. So, um, give me your thoughts and opinions on this as well. Because it was very different. It was very unique. And I, I kind of liked, liked it. Once I, and I may have to just keep trying it on and see if it's... Um, See, just to see if I like it or not. It might grow on me. This one might really grow on me. I don't think this one will. This is actually a softer fabric than this This is. So I would really like this. I mean, I do like this, but I mean, you can see it looks okay on me, but then I put this up next to me and it just looks, I think it just looks so much nicer. Um, but anyway, if I do get either any one of the dress, it'll probably be this one because I do like this one better. Um, but give me your thoughts. I need your guys' opinions. Really, I do. So please comment below and let me know which dress you like better. Um, and what you thought of the, everything actually, because I'm kind of uncertain about this. I really would like to keep the jeans. 
I really would. Um, that's probably about the only thing I'm really interested in, really, really want to keep, other than maybe that dress. So, um, everything in the box is $268. Um, so, if I kept everything, I'd get 20% off of that. So, that would be, what, 20% off would be about $52. So, we're still looking at $200. Bucks. And... The one dress I really don't like, um, the cardigan, it's okay, but I just, it's not my, I don't, just don't think it's for me. Um, and then the sleeveless top, it's $34. I mean, I hate to spend $34 on this without an actual discount. Um, and like I said, um, when I ordered the box, they were doing like an extended sale. Um, that you bought three pieces and you got 20% off and you kept the whole box, you got 30% um, off. And I'm going to check into that with them because they should have honored that. Um, and that's what their website stated when I ordered it and that's what I expect that I should get. So I'm going to, I see they have a phone number. So tomorrow I am going to be calling them and I'm going to be checking that out. Um, so I guess it's dependent upon that, what I find out with that. Um, also I was not supposed to get this until the fifth and I got it on the third and the reader was a specific reason I did not want it until the fifth. It's because I'm getting a bonus at work this week and I will not get that till the sixth. So my three days will be up before then. So that's another thing. I don't know whether they extend their, their time that you can have with it or not. Um, Stitch, Stitch Fix did, um, and it was really nice. I just went right on their website, and it just says, do you want to extend your time? You click that, and you put in, you know, actually, it came up the date that I wanted to extend it by, and I clicked that, and then they it changed, you know, for my checkout. I have to have it checked out by the 7th, and, which works perfect for me. Um, that was really easy, and love that. So I'm not so sure about Natalie Attired. So it's dependent upon, I guess, dependent upon what they say um, when I have to have it back. Um, I guess I do have the money. I could go ahead and pay for it. And, and um, but I just I had some money set aside for something else. But I guess I could go ahead and pay for that if I wanted. Um, but, oh well. <laughs> so my thoughts of Natalie Attire. I like that they sent me some really different and unique pieces. That was really nice. I like the, the fact that they sent me some plaid. I mean, every, nobody else had you know, really sent me any plaids. Um, so th they're, again, something unique and different. Not just in the fabric or the print, but also that one that one dress. Just the style of it was really, really different. And I like things that are out of the box and, and different. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, I wouldn't get that, you know. But then they'll see me wearing something later at a later date. And they go, well, you know what? You can really pull that off. So... I guess I just have a quirky enough look or attitude or something that I can pull stranger things off than most people. So I don't kind of wrinkle my nose up at things that look different um, and that are I've never seen before. You know, I like those things. So, um, so yeah, yeah, that might still be in the running for that. Um, size was pretty decent. Um, I think I feel that the sizes were pretty decent. I, I don't think that the styles were flat as flattering to me as what some of the other boxes have sent have sent me. Um, it was okay. They kind of missed the mark on this uh, size wise. Um, you know, they sent me this in an extra large, and then they sent me this in a large. Anytime I have like something that like a jacket or a cardigan or a kimono, I normally go a size larger than what I would wear in my shirts. Um, because I just know my shoulders are very broad and I need that extra room in the shoulder area and my arms are kind of big too so I just need that extra room in, in that in those type of things even jackets I'll go a size larger because of that so having my measurements I think that they I don't know why they sent me this in a large unless it doesn't come in an extra large you know that could be it too so um it was okay. The, the one thing I'm kind of upset about is about the sale thing, the sale prices. Um, that kind of upsets me. Um, you know, don't say that I can get it, you know, 
if I order by a certain date and I do, and then I don't, um, I, I don't like that at all. But um, I did like that they had some unique things in here. Um, will I order again with them? I guess it's dependent upon if they, they honor, you know, what I read on the website um, as far as sale prices or whether they don't. Um, I will purchase at least something out of this box because I'm not going to give anybody my 20 bucks. To be honest, I'm too cheap and um, I work hard for my money. So I'm going to get something for my 20 bucks. Even if I have to pay $34 for this and, you know, 20 bucks off, that's only $14. So it depends on if they make me mad or not. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, you know. If they make me mad or not, I'll probably buy the cheapest thing in here. And I may never, ever get another box. But um, but then again, I may I may even get the jeans because I do like these jeans. And they're $74, so minus my $20 styling fee, I'd have to pay $54 for them. So and these are really nice. I do like these. So... It's, it's between, I think, I really do like this. I mean, I think I might get these, but I don't know. We'll see. So, I've rambled on enough and on and on and on, so I'm going to quit. I do that sometimes when I'm tired, so I apologize. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for all you guys who are subscribing and helping me grow my channel. I appreciate it. Um, I look on there, and I'm like, oh, there's another one. I'm like, woohoo, you know. Um, I would love to be able to just shout out to you guys that have subscribed, um, but it doesn't always notify me of, of new subscribers. Um, so if you would love, I would love if you guys would comment below, like, um, where you're from or, um, something that you like to do and, um, that you're a new subscriber so that I can give you a proper shout out. I would love to do that. Um, and get to know you guys by names and, and that type of thing. And, um, so though, if you're new and this is your first time watching my videos or my channel, um, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Um, if you liked what you saw, I would appreciate it. And I would love that if, for you to subscribe. So if you want to click the subscribe button and then click the bell, you'll be notified of all my up, my new uploaded videos. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, that makes me feel really good too, knowing that I'm putting something out there that you guys enjoy. If you have any comments or um, any questions you want to ask me, you know, comment below. Um, I'm going to put my Natalie Attired uh, referral link below. So if you are interested in trying this out for yourself to see what happens for you, um, if you click on that, um, it, it'll get you right there. And I think it gets, I think it gives me, I don't know what it gives me. I'm not even sure, to be honest. Um, prices, uh, I think some things are a little pricey. You know, kind of like Trendsend was a little pricier. Um, I actually thought Stitch Fix prices were a little bit better. Mix and match box prices are a little bit better. Um, and I'll tell you what, what gets me is prices, you know. Uh, decent quality prices. It doesn't have to be the best quality. It doesn't have to be named, you know, like designer labels or anything. Um, if I can get a certain amount of pe pieces for a good price, I'm going to go for that. You know, I'm all about the money. Um, and anywhere I can save money, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it, you know? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll, I'm going to check it out and, um, See what happens with this, and then I I may not order again. I may I may you know it, it varies. I did like what they sent me a few of the pieces. I really did, um, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so I'll quit rambling and shut up and let you guys go. So you have a great rest of your weekend, rest of your three day weekend, and I'll see you next time. Um, I have some more stuff coming, so stay tuned. All right, bye bye. Love you guys.